drive, hard drive. Wherefore art thou hard drive? <laughs> <laughs> All's well that ends well, my futuristic friend. Oh, crud! on an awesome beach sesh with us. It's so unlike her. Ugh, no doubt. She must have had something way major on her sked to skip the beach. Uh, let me guess. What's the one thing that can keep Clover away from the shore? Hmm. A boy. Uh, guys, you're coming back from the beach already? There's still like 15 minutes of good sun left. Uh, Clover, we were there for like four hours. Yeah, if we stayed any longer, we would have had to pay rent to the lobsters. Oh. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> um, so who's your friend, Clover? <laughs> uh, this is my new beau, Wilhelm. We've been at one of his weightlifting competitions all day. Wilhelm, I'd like you to meet Sam and Alex. Hi. Hmm. Uh, uh, nice to meet you, too. So, Wilhelm, I had, like, a great time and all, but I need to get back to my dorm and, um, dry clean my shoelaces. Uh-huh. <sighs> wow. That's quite a massive man hunk you got there, Clover. Hmm. Ugh, I am so tired of dating dumb jockey dudes. I need a serious change in my life. Where are all the artsy-sensitive boys? <sighs> Usually taking artsy-sensitive boy courses. Like theater class. Yeah. Hey, look! An announcement for a new theater class at Mel U! I bet the artsy sensitive guys will be all over it! I better sign up for this right away! I can't wait to be exposed to an entirely new class of guys! Ciao! Woohoo! <laughs> Let's see now where to sit for maximum hottie scopage. Uh, ah! This job burdens my very existence to its core! It's as if the students are conspiring against me! Whoa! These cute artsy types are totally combustible. Clearly, I made a mistake. Luckily, there's still time to bail. No one leaves this class without my permission. If I have to be here, so do you! Even if it's for an eternity! And see. Hey everyone, welcome to Theater 101. That was an example of an angry scene. <laughs> we act not because we want to, but because of a burning passion inside, lest it consume us like a fiery dragon of despair. Now it's time to cast my latest one-act play. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can I be cast as the romantic lead? I totally have tons of experience. Hmm. Actually, I have something else in mind for you. So he kicked a chair all crazy and mean, but really he's pretty nice and he has a role in mind for me. So maybe I'm like the damsel in distress or femme fatale. Oh, and he's really cute in a tortured, artsy, sensitive kind of way. So I take it you liked your first class. Hello, are you hearing me? This is only like my life's calling. <gasps> Hello? <gasps> Whoa! Thanks for taking my call, ladies. That was a really sneaky, dirty trick, Jer. Why, thank you. Shall we get down to business? There's been a break-in at a clandestine computer lab. We're not sure if anything has been taken, but there are a number of top-secret and potentially dangerous programs there. And if anyone's gotten their hands on them... Hmm? Clover, for the love of Hampton Court Palace, what are you doing? I'm practicing acting indifferent for my theater class. Was I convincing? Oh, very. Perhaps these gadgets will hold your attention. The motion alarm pencil connected wirelessly to the axe powder, head for cover hoverboards, and the metamorphosis magnet filled tooth. Mad line up here. We can get some serious snooping done with these. Then by all means, hop to it. Ah! <laughs> I see. 
say we take a stealthy approach in order to keep our investigation secret. Good thinking, Sammy, just in case this happens to be an inside job. Pencil has us covered. Now let's solve this case so I can get back to where I belong, under the spotlights. The x powder can scan to see if any outside users bypass security and interface with a specific program. Cool! Well, seems like our little computer is smarter than them all. Looks like someone cloned a computer program called the Nexi Project. It has the capacity to hypnotize those exposed to a pulsating light pattern it produces. Freaky! Too bad we don't know who exactly did the cloning. <gasps> but we do know that they left this piece of ripped fabric behind. Hmm. Good find, Alex. Let's get this back to Whoop for analysis. <laughs> it's the motional arm pencil. Someone's coming. Quick, the head for cover hoverboards. Hey, who is that? <laughs> 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 Here. I can't hover around this place all night! My play starts in like 10 minutes! And you guys need to be in the audience supporting me! Don't worry, I have an idea to outsmart Mr. Smarty Pants! <laughs> Way to turn the tables on him, Sammy! and historical musical. This ought to be interesting. Oh, looky, the curtain's going up! Woe is me, where is my bride to be? Years of girl trouble have left me in rubble. This is kind of upbeat, but where's Clover? I thought she was going to be one of the leads. She's a lead, all right. Lead light post? <laughs> I'll never taste defeat, only this tender meat. I'm the monarch with style, thanks for staying a while. I'm King Henry VIII. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Hey! Hey! What? What? I just wanted to let everyone know that the Mali Cafe will be open late tonight. And your ticket sub gets you a free straw with every two beverage purchases. <laughs> Whew, that's something you don't see every day. Ugh, that play was worse than being stuck in the valley without a cell phone. Totally. And what was with the actor's ratty wardrobe? I'll just see their mega low budge much. Well, you've got to hand it to Clover, though. She was the most convincing light post I've ever seen. Guys, I'll catch up with you in a few minutes at the cafe, okay? Sure, Clover. See you there. Wowza! Who knew acting could be so satisfying to the soul? Kind of like a Mali Cafe double soy mocha. Want to join me? Fools! Oh. These people wouldn't know good theater if they hit them like a 20-ton wrecking ball. Uh, uh guess you probably want to work on your award speech after that powerhouse performance. See you later. Guess I'll have to kick my production up another notch. And they'll have to acknowledge my greatness. that I make playing a light post look really easy, but I researched that role extensively before I went on stage. Well, um, it, it looked very natural. And did Milton rock? He's such an amazing, misunderstood artist. You definitely got the misunderstood part right. <laughs> Finally, I've got a vicious case of the munchies. Howdy, ladies. Can I get you a tin of my special baked beans and pork bellies? Virgil, Halloween's like five months away. What's with the getup? There's gold in them thar hills. That's why this old cowboy's heading west. Okay, whatever. Can I get a mineral water, no ice, and a wedge of lime? 
I told you vermin what's on the menu. Baked beans and pork bellies. Virgil, you know my policy about eating cute things. I'm extremely against it. Gosh darn, city slickers don't know hospitality when it's offered to you. Now get out of my cantina. Hey, what's she not coming? <sighs> okay, that was bizarre even by Virgil's standards. Which is saying something. Apparently someone's been breathing in too many coffee fumes. Oh! Let's just go to bed. <laughs> I had the weirdest dream about Virgil last night. Unfortunately, we all had that dream. And even more unfortunate is the fact that it was real. Actually, I think it was a dream that just turned into a nightmare. What a dreadful mess. I'll have this place spick and span in no time. It is mankind's destiny to explore space, the final frontier. Oh. Is Mindy cleaning the classroom with her own hands? Where'd she even learn to do that? More importantly, where'd Mandy learn to do that? It is mankind's destiny to explore space, the final frontier. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so counting Virgil, that makes three cases of full-blown insanity at Malayu in the past few hours. Hmm, insanity or hypnosis. I'm calling Jerry to follow up on that stolen computer program. Go over here. Wow, that was fast, Jer. I'm glad you called. I've gotten the results on the fabric you sent. Turns out it is a rare velvet which dates back to the 16th century. Terrific! We can make a tiny set of curtains with it. That's not all. I've tracked down the person who bought it recently at an antique auction. His name is Stefan Touquet. Stefan Touquet? Who's Stefan Touquet? This is... <gasps> no way! That's Milton! But why is his name listed as Stefan? Duh! Obviously, it's one of his many stage names. The more stage names you have, the more talented you are. I think you girls should immediately investigate this Milton character. TTFN. This is ridiculous. Like, Milton would ever waste his time on crime. Let's go over to the theater right now and clear this up. Better yet, you go over to the theater and keep Milton busy while we snoop his office to see what sort of evidence turns up. What evs? This is a total waste of time. Come on, let's check out that office. <laughs> According to this, Milton used to direct plays off, off, off Broadway. That's so off Broadway, it's almost back on Broadway. He sure has written his share of plays, though. Huh? What is it, Sam? Tell me if this sounds familiar. There's gold in them thar hills. That's why this old cowboy's heading west. It is mankind's destiny to explore space. The final frontier. These are the lines that Mandy and Virgil were saying. But why are they in a script? I'm not sure, but it looks like we found our criminal connection. <laughs> thought of accusing Milton of something so silly is, like, beyond lame. <gasps> what is he up to? <laughs> so, didn't care for my play last night, huh? Maybe this will adjust your attitude. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 the light is a butterfly. Ha 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 ha! Geek like Milton want with a computer disc. <gasps> Nexi Project! That's the top secret hypnosis program that was stolen from the lab! Which might start to explain why people around campus are acting so weird! <gasps> and Clover is alone with that totally demanding guy! <gasps> Let's go! Keep your distance, you creepy imposter! Hmm. Excellent use of stage props, my lovely understudy. Your acting potential seems limitless. Really? Do you mean it? Because I've been working on my skills. Yes, but now that you've seen what I'm doing, I'm going to have to cut your career short. Ah! Alex, no! Huh. Oh my, it's drafty in here. Now where did I put my crocheted shawl? How dare you turn our best friend into a frail old granny? <laughs> what can I say? The theater takes all kinds. Clover, are you okay? Other than feeling like...
like I fell head first into a bag of hammers? I'm great. Where are we? <gasps> okay, what is going on with Milton? The show. Because the show must go on. <gasps> I can't believe I used to like his cheesy lines. And therein lies the problem. It seems as if a few people don't enjoy my brand of theater. Judging from the old reviews in your office, most people don't enjoy it. In fact, they kind of hate it. Which is why I've decided to hypnotize those who were critical of last night's production and turn them into characters for my newest production, Disaster on the Terror Express. <laughs> Oh my, it's drafty in here. Now where did I put my crocheted shawl? It is mankind's destiny to explore space, the final frontier. Okay, so you've turned everyone into bad actors like you. What now? I'll turn all of Earth's population into actors, and the entire world will be my stage. Ha, 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 ha. The premise is very simple. Several unlikely characters meet on a train which is headed towards certain destruction. <laughs> By certain destruction, I take it you mean brick wall. All aboard! And action! <laughs> Those wheels are gonna slice us into one big cut roll if we don't stop that thing! I can't reach any of my gadgets! Quick, use the metal morphosis magnet for tooth! Good thinking! <clears throat> Awesome! Work like a charm! I think it worked a little too well! Come on! Nobody rewrites me! Unless I'll see to it that this play ends in tragedy! work, girls. And thankfully, we figured out a way to reverse the hypnotic effect of the computer program. And best of all... Ugh, what happened? I feel like an elephant played soccer with my head. No one will have any recollection of what happened. Don't worry, we'll fill you in on the details later, Alex. So what do you have planned for our friend Milton? Or should I say, Stefan? He'll have an entirely new audience now. His fellow inmates at the Whoop prison. Did you say audience? I'd better start working on a new play! Whoa! Perhaps a comedy set behind bars! Some people don't know when to give up. Huh? Ooh! Time flies when you're catching bad guys! I'm late for my date with Wilhelm. We're going to the ballet. <gasps> Wilhelm? I thought you were sick of jockey guys. That was before I realized how seriously mental artsy boys are. Ciao! <laughs> 
Looks like we're headed to the beach alone again. The beach? I love the beach. Let me just grab my bathing suit and I'll join you. <laughs> Ew! Jerry, go work on your base tan. Yeah, you're gonna blind us with that pasty skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 